constitution was amended, the commission had to sit down and review all our materials. So we started by reviewing our water education materials and all the materials we need to use in the field and also generate posters, flyers pertaining to the changes. So everything is on course. As I'm talking now, on Saturday, our teams are going into provincial centers to train our trainers, who in turn, after next week, will go into the districts to train the water education facilitators. So there are no water education facilitators on the field as at now. Their training is from 20th May to 25th May, and they'll be deployed on 27th and 28th. Then 29th, water education by the Electoral Commission of Zambia will commence in all the wards. So after that, if you will not see the facilitators, you can ask us where they are, but in the meantime, we are in the process of preparing to ensure that all our materials, the flyers, whatever we need to distribute to the electorate, contains the information on the amended constitution. Thank you very much. Thank you. There was a question on the criteria that will be used to select the polling station. Thank you. Um, once again, at the risk of repeating, but just in case I did not misunderstand the question, that all the 7,700 polling stations will be open during the inspection of the provisional register. All the 7,700 polling stations will be open. Each polling station will have a hard copy of the segment of the register of voters pertaining to that polling station. Now, the 1,624 refers to the stations that will have a kit for purposes of those voters that would like to replace their voters cards uh, for the reasons such as wanting to transfer or indeed the card is lost. Now for those specific ones, again, the number 1,624 is equal to the number of words country. Now in terms of the selection criteria, it's a balance between two factors. The district electoral officers will have to strike a compromise between the density of the population, so the polling station with the highest density, but also the centrality within the geographical boundaries of that particular one. So it's, uh, they have to strike a balance between those two factors, but also to indicate that uh, the political party and within stakeholder structures at the various districts will be advised through the political party stakeholder meeting, political party liaison committee meetings in the respective districts. So once again, it will be a compromise between areas that are heavily populated, but also a center that is as central as possible within the particular world. Thank you. And I think there was an aspect about the 156 constituencies. It may have been a slip of the time. Um, at the dissolution of parliament, the 156 constituencies take effect, so they will have uh, elections to the National Assembly in all the 156 constituencies as provided for in the new constitution.